Hi everyone, it's Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your RV refrigerator. And the first step that I always do is to see um, what the shelves are adjustable for. Um, you can see that we have a crisper drawer, so this will probably be a great place to put the fruit and vegetables and sandwich meat products. We also have um, two large shelves to place items on, and then we have a smaller half shelf. And then in the freezer, I have one shelf that fits up here and one shelf on the door. And then in the refrigerator on the door, I have three shelves that are all adjustable. So the next thing that I try to do is figure out what containers I'm going to be using in the RV refrigerator. And these are the ones that we like to use. These ones come in a carousel. It's as seen on TV. But all the lids match the containers, and then each container is a different size. That's a cup. That one holds two cups, and this one holds four cups. So I try to figure out where these containers are the best able to fit um, with the shelves being adjusted. And I found that these work great in the refrigerator door. They fit on both the top and the bottom shelf. This shelf down here I'll probably be using for water bottles and pop and other kinds of drinks. <clears throat> And then, I also like to see if it's, um, even in the freezer, if you can stack more than one container. I found that these containers work the best um, for stacking. Um, I could also put this shelf up higher if we had to throw on a gallon of ice cream or something, because we're big ice cream eaters in our family. So it all depends on what you like to pack with on your camping trip. We're also big milk drinkers, being that we like to eat cereal for breakfast each morning on our camping trip. And currently, this is the only tall place that you can fit a gallon of milk. I actually take decoy empty gallons and place them in my refrigerator to determine how much I can actually fit in there. And as you can see, it only fits one. On our trips, we like to bring with two. We don't like to make stops at the grocery store. So this half shelf is what's giving me the problem. I could probably fit two down here if I move this shelf. So this one's a little tricky to pull out, but I'm going to pull this out quick and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've pulled out the bottom shelf, and I actually found that it fits right up on top, right next to these fins, which is a great place to put the eggs, because this is where the air is flowing out of the fridge and is bringing the colder air from the freezer down below to help cool the unit, and eggs um, would fit perfectly there. I also have a wire to hold any large container here, so I could put my cottage cheese, my yogurt, um, a big Tupperware container of salad, or... Um, the main dish I'm going to be cooking on my trip and that that bar will help it prevent from falling out of the fridge and then I also found that these shelves are spaced perfectly for my middle size containers I can also put my small size containers on here I could also probably put like the hot dogs and so forth in a bin a flatter bin and um, have more storage area or room for my crisper. And as you can see on the bottom, I was actually able to fit two gallons down there, plus this is a two-quart juice container that we like to use, or we could put water in it. And so that gives me a, a, a lot of space. I can fit two and a half gallons of liquid under, in the main shelf of my fridge this way. So it's important to adjust your shelves, and it's also a great idea to bring the Tupperware containers, bring the containers you're going to be using for liquids and whatnot, and actually determine what you're going to be bringing with on your trip. And put this in your fridge before you turn your fridge on. That way, when you are cooling your fridge, that you can easily and quickly pack your items so you're ready to go on your trip. Another tip that I also tell people to do with their fridges is to invest in a refrigerator thermometer. We got this one at Walmart and it has right on there what's the safe temperature refri for the refrigerator as well as for the freezer zone and then the yellow is the danger zone where your fridge is too warm. And we just hang this right on the rack. And this allows us to check and monitor the fridge's temperature all through our trip. And it's, it's great because you can actually overpack an RV fridge to restrict the air movement needed to keep everything cool and at optimum temp temperature. And it's no use having a fridge full of food if it's all going to spoil on your trip. So make sure that you're um, also safe when you go camping. Make sure you have your 
appropriate refrigerator thermometer. I also bring with a meat thermometer when I'm cooking, especially over the grill or the fire. And that way everyone can stay safe, be healthy, and be happy. I'll be coming up with a few more organization videos for our RV, so I hope you check them out. Thanks. Bye.